the time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, everybody was always gunning for different spots because, you know, certain spots uh, were the ones that were getting paid, you know. Uh, you know, we we only got paid on, on the money that we drew, you know, and depending on where we were on the card, you know, the higher you were on the card, the more, the more we got paid. So, yeah, everybody was, you know, uh, was trying to get, you know, the spot because we, as far as tech teams, you know, we we were the the hottest tech team uh, at the time, and uh, you know, the, the competition and, and and the teams that were over. I mean, you you can just uh, keep thinking back, and you know, there's there's other names that that would pop out, you know, that uh, that that were just great tech teams that that uh, that we had to go up against, you know, uh, the Islanders. You know, we had some uh, we had some great matches against the Islanders. Uh, uh, a strike force. I mean, uh, and and if I sit here and, and think, you know, I probably can think of uh, you know quite a few more uh, opponents that we went through. Uh, uh, it, it was a great era, you know, in our business. You know, uh, uh, tag team matches. You know, the the as hot as we were back then, I don't think they exist anymore. You know, uh, I don't think that tag team uh, uh, champions are, are are over with the fans the way we were. Oh, not even remotely. They they couldn't even sniff the tag team belt around your waist now because there's no emphasis on tag teams. And at the time with you, you're a former Intercontinental Champion. The pedigree alone as being a part of a tag team was kind of unheard of because of the fact you were so over as a singles champ. But, yeah, I mean, we didn't even get a chance to mention other teams, you know, like the Powers of Pain and the Rougeos. And it's it's just so amazing how many quality teams there were. But, of course, I mentioned it already, the breakup between you and Rick was just, uh, of, of that era, probably one of the best done turns in history. And you guys had that feud going on the house show circuit, the television tapings, for what seemed like, you know, two years. And you two were as just as good of an opponent as you were a team. And did you love working with Rick, you know, across the ring as well as uh, teaming with him? Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he was the... Uh, uh, he, he was such a you know a positive guy and and and, and you know as far as workers go, you know you, you couldn't find him any better. You know he, he was uh, he knew the business. He had charisma and uh, it, it was uh, what we used to say uh, a night off. Uh, you know knowing that you're going to go in there, you're going to have a, a great match, and you're going to entertain the people, and you're not going to get hurt. You know, uh, contrary. To- Working with Rick the Hammer Valentine, uh, you, you didn't know if you were going to walk away, you know, from uh, from a match. Uh, Rick Martel, uh, we 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 compete and 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 uh, we entertain the people, and you know we had great matches, but uh, uh, we knew that we weren't going to hurt each other. Yeah, and that was.